This video is made available by the Berea College Technology and Applied Design Program under a Creative Commons Attribution Sharealike version 3.0 license. In this video, we're going to take a look at the bare minimum that you need to write an application for your Arduino. Now, it's not always nice to start with a blank page, but that's where we're going to start. And first, I'm going to show you how to not write code. In particular, I'm going to show you how to write comments. A comment is something that the Arduino ignores. Sort of like the way you ignore me, your professor. I'm not going to say it hurts, because it doesn't. I understand you have busy lives. It's, it's not a sad thing. Um, so to write a comment, you start with two forward slashes, and everything after it will be ignored by the Arduino. <clears throat> so, the first thing that we have to write in any program for our Arduino is a magic incantation, void setup, parentheses, parentheses, bracket, bracket. You could commit that to memory. You have to write it every time. Void, setup, parentheses, parentheses, bracket, bracket. Um, that gets run once. And the important thing here, uh, ignore the void. Don't, we'll come back to that. Um, you need these brackets, and your code goes in between. Let me say that again. Your code goes in between the brackets. Don't be writing your code in between the parentheses or between the parentheses and the brackets. This is a bad thing. Uh, you want it to all be inside of those two squiggly brackets. That's it. So once you've written setup, you have to write the next thing. And that would be loop. We write void, loop, parentheses, parentheses, bracket, bracket. You might see a pattern there. You might see several patterns there. But once again, I want to stress that you have a bracket and you have a bracket and your code will go in between. So I'll say it again. Code goes here in between the brackets. Don't try putting it between the void and the loop. Don't put it somewhere else. And at this point, you're probably thinking, but Matt, what is that word void? Uh, <clears throat> here's what I want to say. Don't ask that question right now. That's that's a bad question. I know we say there are no good uh, no bad questions, but that's that's a lie. Uh, right now, asking what does void mean is a bad question. And you might say, Matt, can I can I use a capital S or can I call these something else like getting started and over and over? And the answer is no. Uh, you can't. You have to write the word setup and you have to write the word loop. So don't get creative. This is not your moment. All right. And uh, you're looking at those parentheses and you're thinking those parentheses are looking awfully lonely. Maybe I could put stuff in them or I could put them in a different order. Um, the answer is no, uh, you can't, you shouldn't. Don't do that. So don't get creative here. Um, every single Arduino program will have void set up paren paren bracket bracket and void loop paren paren bracket bracket. So you can put some comments inside there if you like. Right. So for example, inside of setup, the kind of code we'll write are things that happen just once when we turn on our Arduino. And inside of the loop are things that will happen over and over while we let our Arduino run. Now, that's it. That's the bare minimum you need to get your Arduino started. Have fun.